<laughs> well, it got us all thinking about snow today, sure, here at least down in the, the city. We hadn't seen much of it. So we want to talk with Corey Reppenhagen because avalanche danger does not just impact the backcountry rec recreation. Of course, it has a big impact on travel as well. And CDOT continues to embrace new technology to keep Colorado roads safe, and that includes infrared night scopes and new exploders that look like space pods. So meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen is joining us from Loveland Pass, where it looks like you've been in the snow for a while, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, kid. Now, Kim, we are just getting absolutely pounded up here in the high mountain passes. I'm right at the bottom of Loveland Pass here in the uh, in the uh, parking lot of Loveland ski area, and that snow is just coming down hard and it is piling up fast. Now, just in the last 20 minutes or so, Loveland ski area is reporting an avalanche, and they are telling me that the avalanche is on property, but on terrain that had been closed. They do not know if anybody was in uh, caught in that slide or it was just remotely triggered, but the Al I saw the Alpine rescue teams come up here being escorted by police uh, vehicles and they are up there in the snow debris kind of just doing precautions with the beacons and uh, probes trying to make sure that there's nobody actually caught in there. No witnesses according to uh, Loveland uh, ski area. No witnesses actually saw any people in that slide and hopefully uh, nobody had gone off of uh, property into that closed terrain where that avalanche did occur. But we're keeping an eye on that right now. But like you said, it doesn't only uh, affect the uh, recreation, but also the travel. Back here, you can kind of see US 6 is closed right now going over Loveland Pass because of mostly dangerous avalanche conditions. And uh, CDOT's been out there bombing that to bring some of those uh, chutes down. And they've told me, I talked to CDOT today, and they told me that they are stepping up their game with technology and then moving uh, snow bombing operations, that mitigation work, to the nighttime to try to reduce the impact to the public. Incredible video from a CDOT infrared night scope shows an avalanche with great detail in one of the Seven Sisters slide paths along US 6 on Loveland Pass. Pitch black, but with the thermal imaging, it's all about contrast and temperature. And so, but we're able to see, check starting zones and make sure they're clear of people. We can see the detonations. We can see the fractures propagate. In the, when we trigger these avalanches, we can see the powder cloud. We can see it's really incredible what we can see at night. Jamie Yacht is the avalanche program manager for CDOT. He says this amazing video was from a test earlier in the season. And that was the, like the first day where we're like, this is going to work. This is going to work. And now they just conducted their first official night operation yesterday. There's some there's some rules that prevent us from using explosives at night without a variance from state government. Yelt said these new infrared cameras will be key as they transition into more nighttime operations. No, I mean, it looks like an egg or it looks like a bit of a spaceship. Um, yeah, it's a unique shape and you certainly you load a bunch of these up on a trailer and people are asking questions about what it is. These avalanche pods are actually gas exploders called Obelex arrays. CDOT installs these at the top of avalanche chutes and remotely triggers a hydrogen oxygen gas explosion that brings down the snow. And these gas exploders don't fall into that rule preventing night ops, which allows CDOT to clear avalanches while you sleep. Ideally, they're not even going to know that we were out there doing this work, right? And CDOT has put two of those pods, that's probably what we're going to end up calling them uh, instead of the, uh, the actual name, the array. So the pods are up on Berthed Pass in an avalanche chute called the 80 slide that goes down onto Highway 40. They haven't had a chance to actually uh, do, that, do any mitigation work on there yet, but with all this snow that's coming down, that opportunity looks like it's coming very quickly. Uh, they're also doing mitigation work here back on US 6. I will try to get more information about that avalanche that happened up here on property, Loveland Ski Area. Uh, they are up there just on property, but on closed terrain, just making sure that anybody didn't wander off of uh, the property and cause an avalanche. So they're, 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 guys, I'll throw it back to you right now, but I'll try to get an update uh, up here yeah. a little bit yeah. later on. Wow. Well, you think of those pods, you know, they're fun and you look at the science, of, but if it can make a difference with one slide or one person or, you know, mm -hmm. keeping the roads open. Or traffic, open, yes. Yeah, uh, then it's worth it. We'll keep an eye on it. Thanks, Corey.